Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a walkthrough of a, a very rudimentary workbench that I've created. It's a, uh, it's a project of mine that I've been using to learn how to code in FreeCAD. And uh, it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not complete, but it's, I think it's workable and I think people can use it. Um, <clears throat> there's probably a lot of code problems. There's probably errors. Uh, the code probably is is poorly done as I you know just begin I learned Python while doing this and I learned Python coding in FreeCAD and I was learning FreeCAD so if you can put those all together you'll see that you know that could be a problem well let's just let me just walk through it and of course the um, while I'm deleting these the link to the git for this is on GitLab and uh, I'll put that in the description so let me <clears throat> excuse me so this is basically, um, the idea is that you can easily build it, model a stick frame construction without some of the drudgery of creating, you know, dimensional boxes first. And then hopefully eventually with, uh, with some added features, uh, like, you know, you know, various properties that we can use to, um, to cost it out or, or whatnot. And so what I've done is I've created individual members for, for everything I could think of, just basic stuff, not, not advanced stuff. Um, and I made these all, I tried to make these all, um, you know, so you can change the significant dimension easily. You can also change these. I had thought about making these um, um, read only at first, but I figured that would just frustrate people. Uh, eventually, I'd like to have uh, pre-selected dimensions so you can just jump it up real easy instead of having to fiddle with the, with the number, but we'll see. And, um, but you can see I've, I've uh, added them in the sense that, oops, uh, oh, there's the any joystick. Did I add two of those? Okay, yeah. So um, I added them so you can add single members, and then if you want, you could create a, a draft array out of this. And I tried to pick everything I could think of. And I've given them initial positions for a one-story um, U.S.-style home. And like I said, I, you know, I'm not a builder, so this stuff is all just the best I could do. And, uh, you know, I'll be taking builder input, builder's inputs um, on names and positions and all sorts of stuff. And I'll be, I'll be showing you the things I did that I don't like and things that I did like. Like um, the orientation of each member is inconsistent, and I'm going to have to work on that. But let me show you then. I've also created these... these um, Oops, and I see an error. Is, is that an error? No, that's uh, that's an overlap. So, and I've also introduced what I what I call what I'm calling like assemblies. And this seems trivial at first when you first you know think about what it is that I'm doing here. But when you when you look into it, um, these are not arrays. These are individual components. And the reason I did that was uh, was to make it so it was more e easily modifiable. Um, you know, for the for the non, uh, you know, uh, well, just easily, more easily modifiable. You'll see how I put a door in there. So now I can just click this and delete the members that overlap, and uh, and they're gone. You know, it's not like they're hidden or anything like that. They're just gone. Um, so I've made the walls with with certain style uh, cornering and stuff like that, and that that was part of the uh, reason why I didn't use a didn't use arrays because it made it uh, difficult to later on count these, or it just added a complexity. Not a big one, but just I'm trying to avoid as many complexities as I can. And you see you can add a ceiling, and uh, that one's actually, the default is set to uh, too long on that. And, um, you know, that's something I'd like to, I'll be adding eventually is defaults that are uh, more more modifiable. And uh, I'll add a roof. And then I do have some, oops, I, my staircase is missing. I do have a stair, uh, stair uh, stringer and a staircase that's not complete yet. I'm just working on the different components. So um, so I did add to these a basic sort of uh, bit. Let me just delete everything. So you can see with this, you could build up a house pretty easily. Um, as far as editing the house, it's, it's going to be a pain at first. Um, as you can see, <laughs> or sort of, let me just do a new document. So, uh, so one of the things I added that I thought would be like sort of a minimum, minimum way to get walls of different dimensions is, is, um, off of a single edge, 
you can build uh, you can build stuff. So if I select an edge, and it's only the draft, I've only tested the draft line, um, and you can uh, do an assembly. So I'll do a floor. So you'll see that that's shorter than the one I had before. Now it only goes in, um, you know, in the width in one direction, but fortunately, FreeCAD has the ability to select, and this might be a trick you didn't know, is you can select, um, let me just do those two I don't want, I want these three. So I can select all three and then just modify the length together. So that's how you can change the length that way. So I just wanted to kind of get it to into a workable situation. Now, um, for this, you'll have to move it. You can either move these with the transform or with the draft tool. You know, the draft tool, you'll be able to snap it right to the end, but the transform, you, know, you can get it close enough. Um, so that works with all the group items. I don't think it works with, I don't, I don't think I put it in for these yet. Eventually, I'd like it to, it's, I'm trying to work so it attaches to a line so that you can rotate the line. And then I'd also like it so that if I, if I draw a box, it'll just fill that box with the flooring member or the wall or whatever. Um, I th cause I thought that'd be useful. Um, and I've had some in initial success with that. So, um, you know, that's just about it. That's my workbench. And again, you can find that on GitLab and, uh, the link will be in the description and, you know, sure. Let me know what you think about it and, uh, if you're using it and, um, uh, and you know, in any 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 sort of uh, constructive criticism, you can put in the uh, comments below.